Hey everyone, George Gill here from Gill Media. Thanks for joining me. Today's topic, we're going to talk a little bit about Google Reader. And really the reason why I wanted to talk a little bit about Google Reader is when we're doing uh, marketing for our business and we're trying to grow our business, there is so much on the web that can really steal our time, if you will. So uh, it, it's hard to keep up. It, there's information overload coming at us from all directions, right? So what are some of the tools that I use that make life more efficient and allow me to kind of funnel or control information as best I can to get things done, get more done in a day and achieve better results. And Google Reader is a really critical component uh, to that whole mix. Now, of course, Google Reader is free. It's essentially an RSS reader, but there's a lot more that you can do with it as well. So I'm just going to give you a quick real rundown here of, of how I use Google Reader. First of all, uh, any of the blogs that I want to follow or information websites that I want to know when there's new information posted, I can simply add a subscription right here in the add a subscription box. So let's say for example, I go over to YouTube's blog here, I can simply copy Command C or Control C on the PC, uh, the URL on the YouTube blog, and then Control V or Command V on the Mac into that position there. Click Add, and it will automatically pull in the YouTube blog. So the last 10 posts that have been posted to their blog, and you can see down here on the left, it's now one of my blogs that are that's showing, and that's configurable. I could have had it pull in more than 10, but 10 is pretty usually pretty sufficient. And whenever anything new gets published, that day it will show up back down on the YouTube blog, so or in my RSS reader, sorry. So absolutely fantastic. I don't ever have to go to the YouTube blog again. All I have to do is log into my reader and boom, it's there. Now besides RSS feeds, the other thing I want to talk about and we'll go into another presentation about is Google Alerts. Not only will RSS is RSS able to pull in blogs and website in updates uh, information, but you can also have your Google Alerts automatically post when new information is publicized. So for example, I have a Google Alert about George Gill, right? So anytime that um, there's a post on the web that says George Gill, I will automatically be sent to Reader via Google Alerts a notification of that posting. Often in this case it's not about me, sometimes it is, but rather than having to go out and Google search my name all the time or my company names, I have that information being pushed to me. So another great strategy to uh, utilize your RSS reader, in this case Google Reader, to really streamline your information coming in. So I hope that's beneficial. So if you want more free training, I'm going to bring up our e-learning site which is recently launched by Gill Media and I'll post the URL URL down below but if you go here you can enter your name and email and start to receive uh, free training in your email inbox every month so I, I'm gonna really recommend that you head over to this URL, URL sign up for additional free training videos and until then we'll see you next time I'm George Gill from Gill Media have a great week